Hello and welcome back to Tomcat Bandit Plays Pokemon Crystal. In the last one, we went, we finished up Burn Tower and then we went to Mount Mortar. Now we are going to take a look for a Magnemite over in this area. There should be one. What do you know? Speak of the devil and he appears. Now, the hard part is to catch it without killing it. Hmm. Bob with rock throw should do it. Sonic Boom always does 20 damage, so we got a little bit of time. Why did it do that? The AI really screwed up in this game. Excellent. We got it down to where we can just capture it. Let's get this Magnemite. Woohoo, we got a pack and might. The electricity emit emitted by the units at each side of its body causes it to become a strong magnet. Really, I would never have guessed. Yes. We're gonna call it... Maggie. We've captured a Magnemite. Now we're going to fight this guy. What do you got? I probably should have got a Maggie for you because you probably have a water type, don't you? Don't give me that smile. Anywho, Jeff, you handle this. At least as far as to sophisticated to take on a whooper. Excellent work, Jeff. Very good, Jeff. You made it flinch, and therefore it could not even hurt you anymore. And a critical hit, no less. You're doing an excellent job, Jeff. When you do an excellent job. Other times, you know, you have issues. Uh, here's the Pokemon. Your Pokemon Center. Let's heal up just because. It's always a good. It's always a good idea to heal up when you enter a Poke. Center. You never know what might happen. What do we got? We're going to deposit. Doug. Doug really has been doing a ton. Then we're going to withdraw Maggie. Now, we are going to just have some fun. Let's see. We need two more levels. Let's go to this route over here and level up Elisa. Now, Elisa, I know, is weak against, um, all ghost-type moves. So, she isn't necessarily the best one to take on the Critique City, but I'm going to do it anyway. If we had a 
Nectar Will or a other normal type, you know, a psychic move. I might do it, but you know what? I don't really care. I know Bob has Lick, but Lick really didn't. Uh oh. Well, it wasn't stabbed, so Elisa survived. Nope, not going anywhere. I'm here to throw rocks. Yeah, it's super effective. Even though it doesn't have wings, it's a fine type. Let's see if we can get a little bit more XP for Elisa. Sure, it might end badly with another pursuit, but it's a risk I'm willing to take. Yep, there it is. Pursuit is just fine. Okay. Woo! Good job, Bob. Now, we will not be switching again, because Lisa just can't take it. So, we'll rock there. There we go. That should end it right here and now. Excellent work, Bob. Goodbye, Toby. Nobody cares about you. Bob, you're evolving? Okay, Bob. Go for it. I will allow you. Bob, what the hell is up with those grabby hands? Dude, first you were jacking it, now you're grabbing it. This is not going to fly well, but... TV sensors. Not that they w would watch my channel anyway. It's a Pidgeotto. Hello Pidgeotto. Have you met my Graveler? He's brand new. He wants to meet you. You can't gust the rock and expect it to really do anything. If anything, you cleared the sand off of it. Excellent work, Bob. One more level and Lisa is the level 16. Just where we want her. Uh-oh. Here's another... Pidgeotto. Don't worry, Pidgeotto. Nobody cares about you. You'll die soon enough. Again with the sand attacks. Jeez, I know it's been a couple of episodes, but still. I forgot to switch. Well, I'll give it another tackle. If it survives, we'll catch it. Just barely. Good news, Pidgeotto. You've been recruited. There we go. Now you just have to stay in the Pokeball. And not fly around like an idiot. Excellent work, Pidgeotto. It slowly flies in circular patterns, all the while keeping a sharp lookout for prey. Mostly Caterpie. 
Yeah, we shall give it a name. Could be Pidge. Actually, Pitch 2. Excellent. Hello there, miss. No, I don't need any advice. I know what I'm doing. It just takes me a while to remember. Dana! It's a fan feed. At least that uh, you don't want to uh, associate yourself with Fanfy. That's Bob's stuff. Bob loves the fluffy one. Don't you, Bob? You just love the fluffy ones with your grabby hands. Bob, you were a little bit too greedy with your hand grabbing. Yep, we'll switch. We'll switch it back to Elisa. It's a side duck. Nobody cares about side duck or his headache. It will eternally go on having a headache until it dies. Or faint. Then I'll be woke up by its headache. Yeah, steel is resistant to a lot of things, but the confusion, the confusion causes some trouble. Excellent work, Maggie. Your first showing is quite impressive. It would have been more impressive if you one-shotted it, but, you know, I'll take what I can get for the time being. Okay. Now, you're just making me look bad. You shouldn't be missing your thunder shock. They should hit every time. Yep. Thank you for being... Thank you for my inspirational speech that helped you out. It unconfused you. That's what it did. Sure, there was grammar errors everywhere in the speech, but who cares? talk to her. Moo Moo Farms Milk is famous for its flavor. You're really good at Pokemon. Boys give me items after battles, but sometimes they give me too much. Next time I can share, next time I can share some if you want. Let me get your phone number. Sure. Occasionally she'll give us stuff. Sweet. Well, we have a little bit more experience to get on to Diana. Er, to Elisa. Let me try something I learned today. Okay. Fine. What is it? Schoolboy Chad wants to battle. Chad sent out Mr. Mine. Oh yeah, that's not grabby or creepy at all. Okay... Yeah. Jeff, I'm gonna have to ha ask you to lick the pervert. Pervert. You okay? You okay with that, Jeff? Lick the pervert. I'm sure you're gonna get confused now, aren't you? Ah, you didn't. Excellent work. And now Mr. Mime's paralyzed. Excellent work. See? We have to put the perverts in their place. By licking them and paralyzing them. Uh-oh. Put He's trying to put up a barrier. That's okay. You can just keep on licking him. 
It's okay. Hmm. Lick it. That's not fair. Oh, sure. Okay, Bob, I'm going to have to let you clean up the mess that Jeff left. Yep, sure did, Faith. You killed Jeff. Now I'm going to throw rocks at you. Okay, you didn't really kill him. You made him faint, but you know what I mean. Aha, Lisa's now level 16. She's gonna learn confusion. Hell yeah. Hmm. Yep, yeah, Charm. Although, Charm wouldn't have been bad to keep. Schoolboy Chad was defeated. I didn't study enough, I guess. Yeah, you're still a kid too. I'm 10 years old. How old are you, little boy? No, I don't want to talk to you. You're not my friend. Yeah, I did. Uh-huh. Yeah, whatever. Stalker. Freaking stalkers everywhere. Well, in the next episode, we're going to take on the gym. So, as always, please like, comment, and subscribe if you would, if you enjoyed watching this, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Bye bye.